Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the 98 Know It All podcast. I'm your host, Josh. And today, I want to take a little time to kind of just talk through the the legacy of Pete Rose. And this is going to be one that um, I think half of the people who listen are going to agree with what I have to say, and uh, the other half are going to disagree. It's going to be kind of one of those uh, podcasts. Now, there are some things that you know I think everyone will agree with when it comes to Pete Rose and type of stuff and we'll get into all that but before we do uh if you're watching this on youtube please subscribe to the channel uh, it does help get the uh word out there about the channel about the videos that, that i'm working on uh if you listen to, to this on the podcast which would be on spotify uh please like comment share all those different things uh follow the podcast those things actually do really help out um not not really mon- monetarily uh, because I don't get paid for this stuff, but it just helps knowing that people are listening um, to know that things that I'm, uh, are, the different topics I'm doing are things that people want to listen to or don't want to listen to. It just helps me out. So please, if you're on YouTube, subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, if you're on the podcast, follow it as well. And uh, just kind of let me know what you guys think. Give me your thoughts as well. But let's go ahead and dive into this. Um, Pete Rose. This is this is a, a challenging one for a lot of people because if you look at just his stats and you forget everything else about him and the decision and choices he made, he's a Hall of Famer. I mean, that's th- that's clear. He has four thousand two hundred and fifty six hits. You know he he was a different type of player. I mean, the the reason why he was nicknamed Charlie Hustle was because he gave everything on the field. He loved the game of baseball. There's no doubt in my mind about his love for the game of baseball. But with that comes the understanding and the knowledge that he also broke maybe one of the most important rules in all of sports, and that is not to bet on your sport. And maybe even bigger than that is don't bet on your own team. Win or lose, even if you choose for your team to win, don't bet on your own team. And I know that there's a lot of discussion about what he actually did, what he didn't do, but we all can agree he bet on baseball. We all know that. That is not that's not a question. We know that he did that. We know that he has over 4,000 hits. We know that he was a tremendous player. None of those things are in question. His legacy will forever be one of the greatest hitters in the game of baseball, maybe not average-wise. I mean, he did bat 303, so not a bad hitter by any means. He was a good hitter. Um, A part of the reason why he got so many hits is because of his longevity in the game, how long he played. But at the same time, he still performed year in and year out so he was one of the best hitters in the game of baseball in the history of the game he was one of the best and that's a part of his legacy it will always be a part of his legacy the name pete rose and hits and hustle will always go together i mean the guy was a 17 time all-star he won two gold gloves world series mvp you know I think he won three World Series. He was a champion. He was a winner. He was a talent. But with his name also comes the reality that the legacy of Pete Rose is someone who bet on baseball. And more than that, he never publicly apologized for betting on baseball. In fact, I'm not even sure that he ever really discussed it publicly. Now I've known people who have met Pete Rose and got to spend time, whether at a a lunch or autograph signings or a question and answer time. And all of them have positive things to say. Yeah. Some of them would describe him as being egotistical and things like that. But that's kind of who he was. 
But even those people who describe him as being egotistical still have a respect and I guess even kind of a, a joy for their memory of spending time with him. No matter how short of a time it was, you know, there is that with it. And I understand that and agree that he could have been an, an awesome guy. I don't know. I never met him. Just heard stories. But now the question comes up. Did he belong in the Hall of Fame before he died? And now that he has passed away, does he belong in the Hall of Fame now? And this is the question that is... I was going to record this episode actually the night he passed away. And I couldn't do it because I couldn't decide what side of the fence I was on. You see, my dad was born and raised in Ohio. The Reds were his team. He loved the Big Red Machine. I would I grew up hearing stories about Pete Rose and the Big Red Machine and and Bench and all those guys. And I will say that I can I kind of became nostalgic for the Big Red Machine. In fact, I think it was the late 80s or whenever when the Reds made the World Series again. Might have been 88, 89, somewhere around there. Um, I was rooting for the Reds because that was my dad's team. But here I am now, and I've been able to see the game of baseball in a lot of different lights, a lot of different ways, and kind of understood things in a different way. If you look at Pete Rose and his stats, he is a Hall of Famer, period. But the betting on baseball, I think, still to this day, blocks him from the Hall of Fame. Do I think that he will get in the Hall of Fame now that he has passed away? Yeah, I do. I think that he will get there. I think it will probably happen within the next five years even. But I, I have to say, I don't think he should be in there right now. Even though he's passed away, even though times have changed, betting on baseball, betting on your sport that you are still coaching and playing in, is almost as close to unforgivable in the game of baseball or any sport as there is. So my opinion is that no, he shouldn't be in the Hall of Fame right now. Will he get in the Hall of Fame? Yeah, once again, I think he will. And I'm not so dead set against it to say that he shouldn't ever be in there. Um but I, I'm still having troubles with it because of what he did. And it's just like there's a lot of other players who are great players who cheated the game of baseball, and I don't think they should be in the Hall of Fame. And my opinion has actually changed a lot over the years. You know, I used to be in the mindset of, hey, just put them in there and say, hey, during this time frame, this happened or this happened or this was going on. But I, I'm not so much a believer of that anymore. There isn't necessarily a moral obligation to be in the Hall of Fame. I mean, Ty Cobb's in the Hall of Fame. Let, let, let's all be honest. He was not morally the greatest baseball player ever. He was hated by people. But betting on baseball is its a tough pill to swallow. Even with Pete Rose's passing, it's still a tough pill to swallow. Right now, if a player was caught betting on his team <coughs> or a coach was caught betting on his team, they'd be gone for life. I think the only difference is that Pete Rose had a long career with a lot of hits. If you take out those hits, you take out that long career, he's just another person who made a horrible decision and never 
and was never going to be um, clear to that. It's always going to be there. And I really don't want a Hall of Fame plaque of Pete Rose saying, all-time hits leader banned from baseball because of betting on the game. That That is not going to look good. But it's got to be there, in my opinion. It's got to be on that on that plaque because that's what he did. Now, once again, I'm telling you guys, I went back and forth on my decision on whether I was going to say, yes, he should be in the hall. No, he shouldn't be in the hall. I went back and forth over and over again. Um, and even by the time this posts, I may change my mind again. But right now, I believe he should not be in the Hall of Fame. He will get in the Hall of Fame. I'm going to say he will. But I'm not a huge supporter of that at this moment. But in time, I'm sure I'll come around. Um, because I do want people to remember him. I do want baseball fans to remember who Pete Rose was both the good and the bad. So guys, let me know in the comments below. Please be nice. Don't don't be mean because that's just, it's my thoughts. My thoughts really mean nothing as to whether or not he will or won't get in. You know, we all can agree and disagree, but that's where I'm leaning right now. So guys, leave a message down below. Please, once again, subscribe to the channel. It helps out, lets me know what you guys are listening to, what you guys want to listen to, that type of stuff. But until next time, thank you for listening. I will talk to you guys later.